Hi everyone, welcome back to Brownlow Books. I'm Charlotte and I recently read Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. You can see here, mm -hmm. I did get an advanced copy, but I'm way behind on my shit and didn't read it till now, even though it came out in February. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I've loved this <laughs> a lot. Like, so much. Like, I know I just said that at that uh, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is my new favorite book, but you know what? This is my new favorite book. <laughs> just new books every week of my favorite book. But no, seriously, this is my new favorite book, okay? It's super queer and full of non-one-dimensional, you know, multi-dimensional characters that are, you know, some form of queer or a person of color or... Goddamn, just about near everything. There's like two fucking straight white people in the book and it's her fucking parents and <laughs> love that. So, <laughs> oh, it's so great. I love it so much. So it is a debut novel by Rogers and she describes herself on the back as a queer black millennial. So like, yeah, this is exactly what I would expect from a queer black millennial. I loved it so much. It's so well written. You can see I've even tabbed it up a little, which is what I do when I'm like, hey, I need to remember this thing that was just said because it was so fucking beautiful. That's what my tabs are. And there's there's multiple, multiple tabs. Yeah, so. <laughs> loved this book so much. As I said, it's her debut novel. And I will read everything she writes until the end of time. That's how much I love this. I'm just like, I don't, I don't really, don't really care what other things authors put out. I like read what I find interesting to me, not because of who the author is, but what the story entails. But yeah, this one, I'll read anything she writes forever and ever and ever. So no big fucking surprise here. Five enthusiastic stars. Uh, I I never send recommendations on Goodreads. I sent this to three of my friends and then shared it in my book group to the rest of my friends. <laughs> and I was like, y'all fuckers need to read this. <laughs> I just, oh. So Honey Girl is our main character, Grace. She's like 20, almost 29. She just graduated with a PhD in astronomy and life's not going as planned. So this is actually a queer romance. And one of the ways that she acts out of her life not going the way she planned is by waking up married in Vegas. <laughs> so this is actually queer romance. Like, super queer romance. Fucking love it. I just, oh, It's got so many wonderful things and the characters are so, like, well-defined. And, like, you just, you slowly learn about them instead of being, like, here's an info dump of what this character is like. And it's just... It's so wonderful. It is so wonderful. Like, I probably would have taken longer to get to this book if I was buying it myself, but because it was given to me, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I need to read down my pile. I grabbed it from the top, and I'm just like, so happy with it. I feel, I feel guilty that I didn't read it before its publication date. I feel, I feel a little, like I'm privileged that they gave it to me. I feel so privileged that they gave it to me, but like, I feel guilty that I didn't read it before its publication date because it's wonderful and beautiful, but like, I see stuff about it online, so like, I know other people know about it, <laughs> but I want more people to know about it. It's so wonderful. So yeah, five enthusiastic stars. I really recommend it to literally everybody. If romance is your thing, if you just like, you know, anything kind of queer like, wonderful characters, well defined, if you like astronomy, star, space shit, all that, like, it's fucking fantastic. It is fucking fantastic. I'm not even gonna tell you to like and subscribe, I don't care, I'm, I'm ending on this is fantastic. 